them a band, they're not one. What they are is the most competitive form of entertainment in North America. These are the best of America's Drum and Bugle Corps, the cream of some 12,000 young musicians who spend their summers traveling all over this country, competing against each other simply for the joy of it. This is the 1984 Drum Corps International Competition. Out on that field, they'll select the world champion. All this began after the First World War, when veterans groups and churches started Drum and Bugle Corps as a summer youth activity. War surplus bugles were cheap, so were uniforms. From such humble beginnings, it's evolved into a thrilling musical sport. Today, some 80 corps around the United States and Canada tour the land competing with each other during the summer months, spellbinding their audiences with precision and spectacle. As it turns out, one of the oldest drum corps in the USA happens to be last year's world champions, the Garfield Cadets from Garfield, New Jersey. A summer tour with the corps is an experience. In the past 65 days, the 128 members of the Garfield Cadets have journeyed through 26 states, performing their show 42 times. All this while living out of suitcases, sleeping on gym floors, eating lots of peanut butter, and rehearsing an incredible 8 to 16 hours a day in the hot sun. Their director is George Hopkins. I think what makes us special is the fact of our attitude, the fact that we're not out here to win. Uh, we like to win, and we're going to try to win, but if we don't win, it doesn't mean a thing to us. We're more interested in who we are and what we, can, what we can do. But something else happens to these kids while they're traveling and performing and sweating. They're also growing up. Meet a lot of friends and become, become a big, close family. It's incredible. It's the best feeling you can have in the world. I used to be the shyest kid on the block, and now I'm much more self-confident, and I love the people, and I love to perform. The Garfield cadets range in age from around 14 to 21. Adulthood means mandatory retirement from the Corps. Senior member Warren Corman of Hyde Park, New York has turned 21, and this is his last championship with the cadets. It means a real, uh, a real, a real change in my life. It's a real big part of my life. It's something that I really don't want to give up, but you have to give it up. You're 21 and that's it. I'm sorry, huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> the way it goes. A drum corps differs from a band in that all the music is played on eight sizes of bugles. Most corps have about the same numbers of drums, bugles, and flags, yet it's how they combine them into a 13-minute show that makes each corps unique and exciting. Garfield's main competition comes from two California corps, the Concord Blue Devils are the jazziest corps around. They are also five times world champions. On the other hand, four-time winner, the Santa Clara Vanguard, played the classics in their own style. Garfield's 50th anniversary show this season is based on American music, West Side Story by Leonard Bernstein. And with the judges right on the field, every step must be precise. Every note must be played perfectly. With the scores tabulated, the 12 top cores assemble on the field. None can imagine just how close the final scores are. In first place, with a score of 98.0, the Garfield Cadets. Garfield has edged out the Concord Blue Devils by a mere one-tenth of a point. The crowd goes nuts, but a 50-year-old Garfield tradition keeps the Corps at attention until they're alone on the field. Only then do the countless hours of practice and hard work burst out in victory. It is the end of another drum corps season. For most, the beginning of the school year. 
for others, now adults, it's the end of their core career. But they leave the cadets different than they came, full of self-confidence, discipline, camaraderie, and the joy of playing their hearts out for thousands of people on warm summer nights. You can't outgrow memories of that.